welcome back to my channel. So today I want to update y'all on the over a year long drawn out process of the Trojan transfer plan. As of now, I'm officially accepted at the University of Southern California. I'm enrolled and I just am super excited to, um, to join everyone out there in the fall. So thanks for watching and I hope this helps. <laughs> so to get started, I want to kind of go back a little bit. So it was, I believe, April when I, April of 2022 when I received that I was rejected for the freshman class at the University of Southern California. I applied as a Quest Bridge National College Match finalist. I did regular decision. I, uh, you know, I was homeschooled in high school, so there were some weird oddities in that application. But anyway, I was rejected on a technicality, rejected for the freshman class. But I failed to realize at the bottom of my letter of rejection, there was an offer that people label a Trojan transfer plan that said, if you are inter so interested in transferring, we think you're a good candidate, but we would like you to you know, maybe join one of our partner universities in Europe or a local community college. Well, I did not see that part of the, re of the rejection letter until about two weeks later when I got another email from them saying, here's our offer, here's a little bit more information. And I was absolutely thrilled. I love USC, I really wanted to go there. And so it really um, opened um, an opportunity that I thought I had lost, or I thought that I was gonna have to reapply to, um, to try to attain. So since last, you know, April, May, I have been pursuing the USC transfer opportunity. So a little bit of information is that the Trojan transfer plan doesn't really exist the way it used to. A, a couple years ago, maybe even just last year, um, it was labeled the Trojan transfer plan. It's no longer labeled that, at least it wasn't labeled like that for me. And it was more of just uh, no label, but just them telling me what I should do if I want to transfer since I was already a good candidate. So, you know, they recommended that I go to one of the European universities in like Paris or in Rome, the American universities over there. But uh, I did initially pursue that. I realized it was not affordable for me, so I did not. But I had contacted the local admissions officer um, for homeschoolers, not local, but she was in California, but she was the homeschool admissions officer. And I asked her like, what, um, what experience has she had with students at LSU transferring over to USC? successfully and she said oh they, they, and she actually told me in the email last year over the summer that there was there had been plenty of students who had transferred from LSU to USC and that it was definitely a, an option that I should pursue so I was just super excited when I heard that because first of all I was going to LSU for free they were really paying me to go there and it made my life a lot simpler and less terribly stressful <laughs> so initially I wrote out all my courses and made sure that the majority of the courses that I was taking in the fall at LSU would transfer over to USC. So the first thing I want to tell you is if you're trying to transfer to USC and you're following this plan that doesn't really exist, but it kind of does, make sure you go to the articulation histories online that USC has. And sometimes they're a little hard to find, especially if you're at an out-of-state university. Um, but they are out there. I, had, I found LSU's and it was really helpful because I think it helped my application look more serious, like I was very intentional in every class I took. I think I think every class other than one class I took in the spring semester is going to transfer over successfully, even if it's not an equivalent class to another USC class, it's going to be um, elective credit or it's going to fulfill some kind of requirement. So the first thing I would tell anybody uh, is in your fall of your first semester, make sure you uh, take care of that writing requirement. USC is very serious about it. Um, it's very low level writing, but they, um, I've heard that people who took it, the writing requirement class in this spring semester had received um, spring transfer requests for grades. So make sure you take that writing requirement in the fall just to avoid um, waiting or delaying your acceptance or rejection any longer. I also made sure that I had the math requirement. Um, since I was homeschooled, it was a little bit different. I had the math requirement taken care of already, but I wanted to show them that I could take a very low level math outside of um, a homeschool situation and still do well. So I did that just, um, just to kind of reassure myself. So 
in the application process. And then also I made sure that my major didn't have any prerequisites that I needed to pursue. Mine was classics and they didn't have anything. I just took what LSU had for classics majors. They don't really have the classics major. They had a liberal arts major. So I just fulfilled that and took Latin. So I think that obviously it worked out, but that's what I did. And another piece of advice is I, I really didn't bother my admissions officer very often. I um, only updated her, I think, three times. Um, once with my, uh, f I think, f final grades for something, I think for the fall semester. And then when I had received a Fulbright UK Summer Institute Award, I told her about it, that I had won the um, award. And I also told her when I received a spot on a congressional internship in DC, which is where I am. That's why I'm in that library. So that's those are the only times I really bothered her. I think I asked questions, but I always directed the questions to people other than my admissions officer. I knew she was really busy, and but she always got back to me like really quickly, so I don't know um, if I just hit her at a good time, but that's just something I did. Um, and also, so because I ended my first semester with 29 credit hours, I decided not to apply with test scores. USC, I think after 30 credit hours, does not accept test scores in consideration with your um, transfer application. I mean, you can submit them, but they said that like they will not consider them. They'll, they'll take them, but like don't don't. They said don't don't submit them. So I didn't, since I was right there on the edge. And then with the completion of my second semester, I had way over the requirement. So that's just something that I did. So I did not hear back from USC that I was accepted until May twenty sixth, or the last Friday. It was it was the last Friday in um, May, which was a long time. It was absolutely stressful to be, you know, out of LSU. I'd finished my final exams in, you know, mid to early May, and I was just waiting. I knew I, I was like, I'm not going back to LSU. I had backup schools that I had, I had, you know, gotten accepted into for transferring, but I knew that USC was definitely where I thought it was going because that's what I was telling everybody because I was part of the plan. And, you know, people kind of argue online a lot about the plan being existing People kind of argue a lot about the plan existing online. Um, it doesn't really exist the way it used to. It used the Trojan transfer plan used to be specifically for um, legacy students or students in Orange County or in California, and I'm not any of that. So obviously they're kind of changing the plan. They also don't label it the Trojan transfer plan. They just label it like they don't label it anything. It's just like we have a transfer opportunity. If you're interested, here's what you should do to be a transfer candidate. Um, so yeah, that's what that's what I got, and it worked out for me. I'm really excited to be a USC student, and I really cannot wait. I applied to the Dornsife College. I'm a classics major. I am on the pre-med track with them, but um, yeah, so far it's working out well. Um, if you have any questions or comments or you didn't tell me something that I did not know, please let me know in the comments, and please um, like and subscribe. But also, like if you're a student, if you're um, where I was this time last year, you were rejected, but now you're on the transfer plan, let me know. I would love to reach out to you and I'll reach out to me and I would love to talk to you about um, what's going on because man, it was a terribly long wait and it was really nerve wracking because I felt like I had put all my eggs in this basket of USC and I hadn't because I had applied to several other transfers, schools to transfer to, but um, it was still a really stressful time. But thanks for watching and bye.